One of the new features of version 8 is the ability for deep select to select faces of a part and for the gripper to manipulate those faces. Let's go ahead and select some faces and perform some example operations on these faces with the gripper. First, we'll select the faces and next, we'll hold down the option key to indicate we're going to copy these faces and select the blue arrow to translate. So I'll select our faces and we'll move them out. And note the data entry window updates with the distance and the number of copies that we want. Let's change our distance to 2 and let's change the number of copies to 3. Now let's go ahead and select these four cutouts. Go into the top view while in deep select. And again, we'll hold down our option key. Grab the red arrow this time to translate. And select our faces, move them out. We're going to precisely put those at 2.5 inches. And we'll make two copies. All right, next, let's go ahead and grab these set of faces. And again, we'll copy these faces out. Let's push it out a little bit more. And then I'm going to select the rotate handle. And let's rotate these faces 90 degrees. And then let's pull these faces over here. And let's pull them down so that we can we're going to make a long button. And then let's grab these faces. And we're going to stretch this button out. And then let's grab these uh, inside faces and we'll stretch these out. And there's an example of uh, some of the things you can do with the gripper and deep select in version 8.